guys and welcome back to a brand new vlog so today is a lazy saturday a lazy saturday in lockdown um but i thought i would film a cozy day in the life um that's what a lot of our vlogs are gonna be for the rest of lockdown um but a lot of you say that you enjoy them obviously we're all in the same boat so i think it's quite nice sometimes just to vlog the everyday and yeah, we'll show you what we get up to today. So it's actually nearly the afternoon. We had a very, very lazy morning. We slept in and then we had breakfast and we watched, well, I watched Location, 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 20 Years and Counting, which is basically Kirsty and Phil looking back on like 20 years of location and they like chat about their favorite um, house hunts and I just love it. Oh, I'm addicted and also Love It or List It has started, uh, which is another Kirsty and Phil programme and I'm obsessed. Love it so much. So I watched that. Martin has been at the laptop all morning because he has been editing the next Disney attraction video, brief history of a Disney attraction video. Oh my gosh, I was so excited for you guys to see it. We're hoping that it will go up. So this is Saturday. We're hoping that it will go up tomorrow on Sunday. So you might have already seen it. If it is already out, I'll pop up an eye um, because you have to go watch it if you haven't already. But we've been filming it all week and it's so much fun. I really hope you guys like it. It's something completely different than like our normal videos. Um, as you will know from Martin's other um, brief history videos they always have a special little something in them and um, Martin always edits them amazingly um, so this one is definitely definitely one not to miss so I think he's going to be pretty busy the rest of the day trying to finish that edit so you'll probably be with me most of the day um, but I'm just going to have a really lazy Saturday um, I've got a few jobs that I want to get done. I want to go for a walk um, and then I also want to do another yoga video. Let me start doing my skincare whilst I chat to you. I've been using the, the Body Shop Vitamin E Eye Cream. So I've been using that every morning and night, which is really good because I haven't actually use an eye cream religiously before um so it's nice to actually get into a routine of using one and I kind of think it has improved the bags under my eyes slightly um and then I've been using the body shop vitamin c moisturizer so I use this in the morning and then I use my aloe vera night cream at night but this is such a nice morning moisturizer it's so um, like brightening. I love the smell of it. And yeah, it just kind of like wakes your skin up. So I've been enjoying both of them. Also apologies about my hair. I've literally just thrown it up, <laughs> but it's locked down. I was gonna wash it this morning and then I was like, Do you know what? I just can't be bothered and I'm not going anywhere. So I'm just gonna leave it for another day, so sorry. <laughs> Um, but I, so yeah, the stuff I want to get done today is I want to carry on with my 30 day yoga challenge. The last um, day in the life vlog I did, um, I was like raving about it. I was loving it. And then since then I've had to take a break because I pulled a stomach muscle and I actually didn't pull the stomach muscle whilst doing the yoga, which would make more sense, <laughs> but I actually pulled it <laughs> while sitting on the sofa. And it just shows how easy it is to do. But I was sitting on the sofa, I was watching TV with Martin. Martin was next to me here and I went to like hug him, but I did it in like a really awkward way. Um, and I did it really like spontaneously, like I moved too fast and um, I moved really awkwardly and I felt it. And um, I was like, ow. And Martin's like, what have you done? And I was like, I've really hurt my stomach. And then for like an hour afterwards, it was so sore. like. I was trying to walk, I was trying to like move around and I couldn't, it was so painful. Um, so I literally just lay horizontal and watch TV for the rest of the evening. <laughs> I was like, as if I've managed to do this. Um, so I had to have a few days off from exercising and kind of like walking 
um, because it was just really sore, but thankfully it healed and it's absolutely fine now. Um, but it just shows how easy it is to do. Um, but when I like looked up pulling an abdominal muscle, they say it can just be from like a sudden movement. So like picking something up or like twisting to the side, which is what I did. Um, so yeah, a top tip for life is not to move suddenly and awkwardly like what I did, <laughs> um, but I'm all fine now. Um, so I'm ready to start the 30 day yoga challenge. I'm gonna pick up from where I left off, um, but yeah, I still really do wanna complete it. I did a great stretch and relaxation class last night because my friend Claire, um, she does ballet bums classes, which is like a form of ballet inspired fitness. Um, I'll pop all her details below, um, but she does ballet bums, classes which I'm really looking forward to getting back into next week um, but she also does a stretch and relaxation class so I thought oh that would be perfect to kind of like see where my body's at um, so I did that last night and I loved it um, felt really great afterwards um, like physically and mentally so yeah I'm like back in the mind frame of doing my yoga every day and yeah, so that is one of the things I want to do today. The second thing is that I really need to clean the bathroom and I'm really not looking forward to this because I hate cleaning the bathroom. It is the worst room in the house to clean. <laughs> um, I just have this thing where I could clean the kitchen like all day, every day. I love cleaning the kitchen, but I really don't like cleaning the bathroom. I don't know if anyone else feels the same way or whether you guys prefer cleaning the bathroom over cleaning the kitchen, but yeah, I, I put it off. Um, so I really need to clean the bathroom. And they're kind of like my big to-dos. But then the other things I wanna get done is I wanna watch two films. <laughs> I wanna watch um, Fox and the Hound because it's the next one on our Disney classics list. I'm gonna start putting on a little bit of makeup while I chat to you as well. So I'm just using the Bare Minerals powder. I haven't really been wearing much makeup. Um, so like because we were filming the Disney attraction video, I like put on a little bit for that, but it's like really natural makeup like this. So I just use this powder mostly. But yeah, I wanna watch Fox and the Hound with Martin. And um, so hopefully once he's finished the edit, we can watch it um, because it's next on our um, animation classic list. If you watched us in the first lockdown, we decided to watch all the Disney classic animations from the beginning. I think there's like 52 maybe or something like that. And we did really well up until Fox and the Hound and then we just fell off the bandwagon and we haven't watched one in months. Um, so I'm determined that we are gonna finish them by the end of this lockdown. Um, so I want to get back on that and then this is so exciting so yesterday I watched Star Wars The Last Jedi so I only have one more Star Wars film to watch and then I have completed my whole Star Wars education I have then watched all of the Star Wars films and all of the Mandalorian which is pretty impressive for a girl who hadn't watched any Star Wars. So I'm kind of on a roll and I kind of want to finish it today. So if I can, I want to watch The Last Star Wars. I think it's called Return of the Jedi? Or is that another one? Oh no, it was it Force Awake? No. Ah, I don't know what the last one's called, but I want to watch the last one. <laughs> um, so yeah, that is like my major things that I want to get done this lazy Saturday. Um, I also, I just text my mum because we have, well, what we started doing um, since planning the wedding is that we have like wedding meetings. Um, my mum is like the best at planning anything. I actually can't close it. I think my hands are like thingy from the moisturizer. So I'm just gonna leave that there. Um, but my mum is like really great at planning. So every like few months, um, myself and Martin will have a quick like wedding meeting um, all together just to check that we haven't missed anything out or we haven't like forgotten anything. And also just to like take stock of where we are 
and it's so difficult at the moment. Obviously, we had to postpone our wedding from 2020 and we postponed it to July of this year, so July 2021 thinking that that would be enough time but obviously it's still really up in the air as to whether we can have the wedding that we want and if we're gonna have to change anything in any way um we really really don't want to have to like um uninvite people and make it smaller because we really do want everyone that we want there so that's probably the biggest thing that's like weighing on our minds that maybe it's like the numbers like how many they're gonna allow but of course there's like no point stressing about it because no one knows like we don't know what's gonna happen within the next like two to three months so I'm trying not to like think about it too much until maybe like March time when I think we'll have like a clearer idea of what's gonna happen for the rest of the year but yeah it's it's weird like I try not to think about it too much um because I'm trying to stay positive that we will be able to have have it this year um but obviously I know a lot of people are like in similar boats um if you've got stuff planned this year it's all just like a bit still not entirely 100% definite um but what I did want to get done is I wanted to have the email address of everyone that we've invited and I want to send them a email save the date for the one this year I have let them all know but I just wanted to like send them an official one um just so that they had it in their diaries so that you know if it did go ahead they know when it is so I think I'm gonna try and get that done this week um and also just like see where we're at and like keep planning it as if it's gonna happen definitely at the moment I've run out this is <laughs> don't worry I've just run out of my makeup <laughs> Martin was like what because <laughs> I just shouted oh no I've run out of my eyebrow pencil my NYX professional micro brow pencil um so yeah I think I'm just gonna have bushy eyebrows today bushy eyebrows all day every day in lockdown I might just put on a teeny bit of mascara. Um, so yeah, this clip is so long, but that's kind of like a little catch up um, with what's been going on lately. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just gonna throw in a little bit of mascara and then I'll catch up with you in a second. So this is so weird. I just got an email from our wedding venue. Um, so I'm gonna go through and show it to martin it's quite long um but they have been so amazing everything with like moving our day and like even just keeping us updated via email um so they're basically getting in touch to like chat through uh things with people that are booked up until june so we're in july so we won't be contacted till the end of feb um because then they'll, they'll of course have like a more clear idea of what um could be affected sent an email basically just like um expressing like how difficult it is um but also um just like reassuring us that you know they're going to do everything in their power to make it easy um if we do have to postpone or if we do have to adapt and stuff like that very weird that they just emailed that <laughs> because i was literally just talking about it um must have like been on the same wavelength. But yeah, I'm gonna go show this to Martin, have a little read through of it. Yeah, see what he thinks. Here's Martin Bell, the editing extraordinaire. <laughs> well, you don't know yet, you might not have seen it. Um, yeah, I'm trying frantically to find all the clips that I need. Uh, I've done everything else that I can, but yeah. I was so excited for everyone to see it. Um, but I was just letting them know that we just received an email from our wedding venue. So I was going to read through it with you. It kind of is just telling us what their plans are for the rest of the year okay. and when they're going to be in touch and stuff like that. All right. Because uh, I was just chatting. It was really weird because I was literally chatting to the vlog about the wedding yeah. and then they emailed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so I'll show it to you now. Quinty, oh, Quinty Dink. That's it. <laughs> All right. I'm going to stop filming you now. 
Okay, so just read the email to Martin. It was actually a really long email. And I wrote this halfway through and I was like, oh. <laughs> but I read it all out. But what was great is they gave us like a few questions to consider in regards to like red lines for how many numbers um, we would be happy with. Um, red lines for like how many restrictions we would be happy with. Um, so they seem really supportive um, in regards to they're not going to like force you to have a wedding with 15 people if that's not what you want. Um, so the, the email was really positive. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to have a little think through those questions. Me and Martin will probably have a chat about kind of what in the event of what ever happens, what our solution would be, that kind of thing. But yeah, we probably won't have any idea until February, March time really. So just gonna hang tight till then. I need to figure out what to do about suits now really as well. You could definitely find one. Yeah, it's before. About numbers though, isn't it? That's the main thing. What numbers of the mm. wedding? How many people at the wedding? Yeah. But as always, I know that a lot of you are probably in a very similar boat and I know a lot of you have probably had to postpone your wedding maybe two, three, four times already as well. Um, so yeah, sending love to everyone. But yeah, we'll keep you updated as always because you guys are, are going through it with us as well. Uh, so yeah, we'll keep you updated uh, with our planning and what's happening. How's the edit going? Uh, get there. So I'm thinking now, I might make us some food and then shall I start watching Star Wars? Oh, I sort of want to watch it with you. I want to watch it with you. Okay. I'll I'll wait then. I'm also, a fan of that one. But you you. Were, What's it called, by the way? Uh, Rise of Skywalker. Oh no! I called it Return it? of the Jedi. No, you've already watched that one. I've already watched that one. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry to all the Star Wars fans. Um. But you watched uh, Last Jedi, and that's the one I'm not so keen on. But you actually you enjoyed it. Yeah, I watched it last night and I, I quite enjoyed it. It was the first time, actually, that Helena has, like, watched, decided to watch a Star Wars film on her own. Yeah. <laughs> and then, like, you've been left just to watch it because, like, I had other stuff to do and you watched it. <laughs> I'm growing up. <laughs> no, I just kind of felt like watching it last night, so I just put it on. And then I, um, I wa well, I watched it in two halves because I watched half of it and then I did my fitness class and then I watched the other half after the fitness class um in bed and it was really nice I really enjoyed it anyway I'm gonna stop blabbering on and I'm gonna go make some food and probably catch up on some YouTube so I'll catch up with you guys later and I will clean the bathroom because I've said it on this vlog so I have to do it so we've just had some food watched some YouTube and then Martin is back editing I don't know if you can see him Oh, there's his hand. <laughs> but I am going to clean the bathroom because I thought if I get it out of the way that I can treat myself with watching Star Wars. So, where to start? So we've got a big pile of washing and then I just want to give everything a good scrub. I've got stuff on the sides that I just want to clean up and then I also want to clean the bath and yeah I've got stuff on the side and yeah it's just a little bit of a mess so I think I'm gonna start by clearing out this and just sorting it out so I've just moved it out into the hallway because I'm gonna move everything and then I'm gonna go back and mop and clean the floor so I thought if I just move everything out then it's already out but I'm gonna go through these they're just full of toiletries um, so I'm just gonna sort out what we need and yeah just give it a give it a good sort out i'm also going to use our new well not that new anymore but our studio speaker to play an audio book on so i've actually been listening to claudia winkleman's uh book called quite so i think i'll carry on listening to that whilst i do a bit of cleaning Okay, I've sorted through them all. 
This is like a couple of spare deodorants, although I do use native deodorants, so that's in the bedroom. Um, but they're just some spare ones, and then there's like tanning stuff in there. These are all lotions, and I'm slowly trying to get through them all. I don't know if anyone else has like a huge stack of toiletries, um, but they're like from gifts over the um, over the years, and I just end up having so many. Um, so I'm really trying my hardest to like not buy any new ones and to just slowly get through them all. Um, so I'm doing quite well so far. In here is like stuff for the shower. Oh no, in here is all hand creams. And then also I have my shampoo and conditioner. So I've been recently using Grum. Um, I've been using their shampoo and their conditioner. And they're great because um, they're shampoo and conditioner bars. Um, and I hadn't had much luck with bars, but these are so good. Um, so I'll pop them in the description box if you guys want to check out Grum. I think I've got a £5 discount, um, so you can use that. But I'm really impressed and I really love using them. The only thing is, and they're a lot better for the environment as well, um, because they are um, bars, so they don't come in like plastic bottles. Um, but I've got two conditioner bars and I'm on my last thing of shampoo and they're a subscription service. So I've just gone on and changed it so that I'm just going to receive a shampoo um, next month because I've got so much conditioner. I, I just use a lot less conditioner than I do shampoo because... <laughs> This little basket as well, these are all conditioners. So these were like conditioners that I was using before I started using Grum. So what I've decided to do is cancel the conditioner from Grum because I'm gonna get through all of these and then I'm also gonna get through the two Grum ones I have. And then after that, I'm gonna carry on getting the shampoo and the conditioner from them. Um, but these are like half empty bottles, um, just from over the years. Um, so I, I just need to use them and Martin uses them as well, but they're all conditioner because I always run out of shampoo first. It's really weird. So anyway, they're all sorted. These are all sorted. So I'm gonna pop them back in here. Great, so they are all sorted, ready to go back into the bathroom once it's clean. So my next job is to put on a wash and to clean the floor and clean all the surfaces. So I'll check back in with you once I've finished that. Okay, progress is being made. The floor has been cleaned and mopped. I've just got to do the glass and the glass here. And then I have washed the toilet, clean the toilet, cleaned the sink, and also clean the bath. Then I've just got a few bits and bobs to sort out out here, and then put them back in, and then we're done. The bathroom is clean. Yay, all clean, all tidy. Oh, did a good, good clean. I still don't like cleaning the bathroom, but I am so happy when it's done. So I have retired to the sofa. I've got a stolen Martin slinking dog <laughs> blanket. Martin's still edited away. I know, I don't know if I'm gonna get it done. Oh no, the battery's flashing. But I just quickly wanna tell you that I'm about to start Rise of Skywalker, so. I'm gonna watch an hour and then we'll probably make some food and then I'll watch the end later. But I'll be sure to check in with you, um, but I better put this battery on charge. <laughs> um, but I am about to start the film. So I am halfway through. I'm enjoying it so far. It's been quite a few twists and turns already. <laughs> quite a few, uh, what do you call them, like spoilers. Yes, um, surprises along the way. Which I'm sure you guys all knew about years ago, <laughs> but I'm just finding them out. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm enjoying it, I'm excited to finish it. Um, but I quickly came in here and did a little bit of washing up and we're gonna start on food. Yeah. So we have been switching between HelloFresh and Gusto. I think we did Gusto for quite a good few months actually. Uh, really, really liked it. 
um, but we've switched back to HelloFresh for maybe like a month or so and then we might switch back to Gusto. We just like, we like them both so we just like kind of mixing it up and trying different recipes. Um, but today we're going to have Thai veggie curry from HelloFresh. It's a very hot so I feel like we're not going to put as much spice in there just in case. <laughs> Um, but these are the recipes we've got for the rest of the week. So yesterday we had cheesy bean quesadillas. Was that what they were called? Yeah, I think they yes. were called. And then we've got curried vegetable pie coming up. We've got penny ragu al forno, which is like a pasta dish. And then we have Linda McCartney sausages, which I love. Onion gravy and like sweet potato mash. Yum yum. So when I put out the little Instagram message, like asking what people would like to see, quite a few people said that they would love to see more cook with me's and also like bake with me's. So we are gonna try and film some cook with me's. We did quite a few actually in the first lockdown, but we weren't sure if people really liked them. <laughs> um, so we kind of stopped doing them. But let us know in the comments if you would like them. Quite a few people said that they find them relaxing, especially during lockdown. Um, and also a lot of people just said that they're nosy and they like looking at different recipes and what people eat. <laughs> um, so we are happy to film some. Maybe we can film a HelloFresh recipe this week. Because mm -hmm. we do like filming them. They're quite fun to film. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, as always, I will pop our discount codes in the description box so i'll pop gusto's which i think is 40 50 percent off your first box and 30 percent off the month and then i'll pop hello fresh which is 20 pounds off your first box and um, so they're both not ads they're just like the discount code referral codes that everyone gets um, but if you are thinking of trying HelloFresh or Gusto, um, if you use our code, then it will get you some money off. Oh yeah. Um, so I'll pop them in the description box. But yeah, I think that's it. I'm getting Let's there. Make some food. I'm getting there. I know. You haven't, <laughs> you haven't seen Martin at all. <laughs> I've literally, like, I've, I've been working on this non-stop. Oh, apologies for this recycling box. It will be going. <laughs> I've been working on it non-stop <laughs> since about midday. <laughs> I've got just the sound to do, but it's like, it's at the point now where I either, I need to finish this or mm -hmm. I need to edit the video that you're doing now. I, well, I was just about to ask <laughs> because, and like I said at the beginning of the video, Sunday's video is either going to be the attraction video or it's going to be this vlog. So we don't know at the moment, but you guys will know <laughs> what one it is. I'm really. I'm you're I'm, you're desperate to get it up. I am just so that it's, I've been working on it for so long. I just fingers I, crossed. All the major stuff's done. It's just literally just getting all the sound right now. Yeah, I think you can do it, but don't push yourself. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm really excited for you all to see it. Actually, I don't know what we're gonna how, what we're gonna do for the cover art. Oh yeah, I've got to do all the cover art and stuff, so gonna have to decide soon, I think. So I've got about, ooh, only about 50 minutes left of the film. <gasps> it's all heated up. <laughs> um, but so sorry, we forgot to show you the food. Oops. Oops a day, is it? <laughs> but it was really nice. It was a Thai veggie curry. It was really good. Um, we didn't put that much spice in, if any. You didn't put any in, did you? He's got his headphones on. Sorry. No, I didn't. <laughs> so it wasn't that spicy, but I think if you put all the spice mix in, then it would be really spicy. But for the last 50 minutes, I'm gonna... Do you want a hot drink? Oh! You're shouting. <laughs> Sorry, because I can't hear. <laughs> that was so loud. <laughs> I love a hot chocolate. A hot chocolate? Do you, yeah. do you want a proper one? Yeah. Go on then. I might join you. Galaxy or Maltesa? Uh, Galaxy. How are you getting on? What's happening? Are you going to be editing this or? What do you mean? Are you going to be editing this vlog or do you think you'll have it in time? Well, I'm sort of leaving myself no other choice than to have this done. <laughs> <laughs> Mark's going to be 
be up till like the early hours of the morning. Oh well. Oh well, it's lockdown. Please excuse the mess. I need to come in and uh, tidy this after the film. Um, but we're gonna have a hot chockey. So we got these from um, Amazon, Galaxy and Malteser Pods. Um, so let's make one. So Martin wants a Galaxy. Taste that yet? Yeah, it's hot. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Some marshmallows. marshmallows in it as well. So hot chocolate ready on the Space Mountain coaster, <laughs> and then gonna watch the last bit of the film, and I'll let can you know I, what I think. Can I just say that Helena's been so invested in this movie? <laughs> yeah, I've really enjoyed it. So Star Wars completed it. You I've did watched it. all the films and I've watched all of the Mandalorian. Well done. The day has arrived. I actually really enjoyed the last film. Um, it was actually quite nice that I watched the second to last and then the last one in like a row. Mm. Um, so like I was quite into it already. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed it. I really liked all the new characters. Um, you say it's a bit like 50-50, people Yeah, there's some like people that really don't, don't like it, yeah. I think they didn't have a set story arc for the mm. last three, I don't think. I think they sort of made them up as they went along. Yeah. But I, I really enjoyed it. I really liked Ray. I really liked Kylo Ren. Um, I liked the whole... I don't want to give anything away, just in case someone yeah. like me hasn't watched them. Um, but I, I really, really enjoyed it. Um, I would probably more likely to put on the last three again. But I think that's just because they're slightly more modern. Um, but I did enjoy them all, I must admit. Um, and I'm excited to actually go to Disney World now. Um, mm, because yeah. to see Galaxy's Edge, I'm just going to appreciate it so much more. Because I just know everything now. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to eventually get to Disney World and see Galaxy's Edge and also just to go on like Star Tours and Hyperspace Mountain and all the Star Wars things in the parks. Um, I just feel like I know the characters really well now. So yeah, thanks for joining me in my day in the life. I'm, I'm so sorry I've not been in it. He's still going, but I think the rest of the evening I'm just gonna do the cover art for it. So that's all ready to go. I'm gonna try and do my yoga and then I'm gonna head to bed. So I will leave the vlog here, but thanks so much for joining me today. Hope you enjoyed a cozy day in the life and I will see you in our next video. Bye. Toodle pipski.